started a thing. Um, what we got right here, Rafa versus this is player four. Really play okay. Doc Sinai. versus Peach. Uh, this reminds me of. Do you remember in uh, Melee the one event match where there was like Doc, there was Doctor Mario, and then Peach had the white dress because she was his nurse. Really, that's hilarious. I didn't even think of that. Wow, that's a pretty good idea. Now this matchup, I think it really depends on the use of the pills. You know, the way Peach wants to move around, she is relatively slow in terms of horizontal movement, but she's really going to be able to box him out. What you, got, what you need to, or to circumvent that are the pills in order to make them do other things the way you want them to do. And right now, that's not happening. I haven't seen a single pill, actually. So I I'm, I'm kind of curious here. What advantages does Doc really have over Mario? It might be a... To be honest with you, I would just pick Mario every time, but... Um, he may be looking for the power hits there, like, he, you know... Mar Dr. Mario is better in this game than he was in Smash 4. I mean, well, in his previous iteration, so he's better than Honestly, you thought he would Doc be. Honestly, Doc was underrated in Smash 4. It's just that there was no reason to ever play. No reason. And it's looking kind of like that now. <laughs> um, and he's probably definitely like that now. But Dr. Mario could definitely hold his own as a kind of certain niche matchups. And, you know, hey, if this guy doesn't know the matchup for Dr. Mario, what to look out for, it's all the, all the, oh boy, he tried to read something there for a roll. Yeah, we have yet to see a single pill connect. Yo. I saw one just now, but yeah, he really needs to use that a lot more. Like, but they're not connecting. Yeah, I don't know. It's for me. It's always like the threat of something will help condition later on. I don't know it. because when your opponent is just spacing around them, okay, finally one lands. But if your opponent's just spacing around them, if anything, it gives them confidence. Oh, that nice back here. He, I feel like he got hit by the dash attack of Peach, but that back here just ignored it. Seemed like. 93%. Bad recovery for Dr. Mario. One turn up could just end him. Interesting. I'm actually surprised that Player oh. 4 is respecting Doc off stage. Like, why? Go out there. Yeah, he really should just What's go out there. What's he going to do? Like, like, uh, there okay, there we go. Yeah, what's he going to do? That was the answer right there. <laughs> Give him some vegetables. But still, I realize Peach doesn't have the best air drift, but like, if you go and need him, like, what is he really going to do? Yeah, just can't float. air dodge him. Yeah, if he air dodges, it. he's dead. Float in there. Do it. Okay, or that. He's dead. No, he has a jump, I think. No, he's dead. Yeah. Never mind, he's, dead. <laughs> he's so super dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I would pick Mario every time. <laughs> but um, he looked like he knew what he was doing. I just felt like, I don't know. Like, I don't play Dr. Mario. I just don't. When you have a move like that, um, like Pill, it does help control neutral. And it forces Peach, at the bare minimum, to either jump a little bit higher, which makes her more vulnerable uh, in the air because obviously she can't block in the air. If she's so close to the ground but doing the float mix-up, you could, you could try to go for an attack, try and hit the float, and run into a, a shield, you know? Um, and then he has a, the range disadvantage, too, so, like, I don't know, man. But we're going Bowser for this uh, for the second game, which I actually enjoy now Bowser. Now, this is a game. cannon matchup. Is, oh, well, he didn't really Speaking beat up on Speaking of melee Peach, event matches... Well, remember there was like the melee event match where you had to like protect people from Bowser? What? Did you not play melee event matches? No. Also, yuck. Wait, who is it? 92%. For no ew. reason. Gross. Now, Bowser usually just wants to capture Peach, not just like lay the smack down there back air. No? I like that. I like realizing that it probably wasn't going to work and just finding your place back there, because that probably would have required like double jump back air. He would have ended up off stage without a double jump, and who knows if Peach could do it. Something happen. I'm noticing right now, like Fortress against a floating Peach is definitely a big, uh, something that Peach has to worry about. It's very dangerous, because you yeah, obviously you can't defend against it if you're floating. Back air? No, no. Looking for something. Fire. Let's go. I like that. Okay, oh, that's the oh, second time in a row he's done exactly. side B. Um, maybe next time up smash, like if he's confident in that, because up smash still has like... Or forward smash. Doesn't he have armor on his moves? Oh, why'd you do that? that he's so fine. Funny. He's fine. I like that. Just like, he's because in the future, that at least will keep player four from maybe pressuring down low on him. Neptil should do it right now. Desi tries to go for right there. Throws him up in the air. Back air off the That's side. What do we got? Why? Oh, man. I'm loving the fact that player four is managing to survive here. Oh, right as I say that. Hands in his face with the side beak. Almost like a this tomahawk grab, basically. There we go. That fair is frame 17. If you know it's coming, you can definitely um, jump the gun on that. Oh, God. You're dead. Ah. Very nice turn up there. Was he in hitstone that entire time? Was he mashing up B? I don't know what he was doing. Like, he was, it felt like he was dead regardless. Ooh. Wait, oh, he can tough guy through the first few hits of down air. 
That's actually ridiculous. Not anymore, it looks like. 66. Yeah. All right, looks like looks like player four is stabilizing from the center stage. All right. Then again, this is Bowser. Like we've seen him in the in the with the lead for the most part, but don't forget what Bowser looks like when he's playing from behind. Oh my God! Oh, he has 64. Yeah, we probably hit him twice. He did. Get garbed. Toss him off the stage. What we got? He's at 83. He's at a, how much damage? Yo, how many times are you gonna let this do side B off stage? Wait, wait, hold on a second. How much damage did Fire Breath just do? Like a million? Like I don't know. I'm just I'm just guessing here. Side B again? Yeah, there that we go. was so good. There we go. I Finally mean, he only did it three times. If he didn't give him the fourth time, a nod of his head. He's it, like, okay. It literally reminds me of that episode of Family Guy where they were playing Pictionary. The guy was like, Jackal, Jackal, Jackal. No, <laughs> really? That was smart. But he had DI control. He had he had good of control. That was his own fault. I'm sorry. That, that was player, player four likes that. He's like, yo, okay, I see you. I see you. He's like, yeah, I could have won that game probably with you know, pair, care, like careful and patient play, but I, I just wanted to die. I wanted to die with side B. You know, I want somebody to die with side B, and if it's me, then it's me. The heaviest in this game, particularly Bowser and uh, Ganon, um, you can hit him all you want. Did you twice? You're dead. Dead. So like, it kind of puts it in your head. Like, kind of reminds me what happened with Light versus uh, uh, Nairo's Ganon. Like, oh my there's God. situations where he just did not want to press a button because he was afraid if he messed up, he was dead. Even though he had a significant light uh, percentage advantage, it kind of can happen right here with Bowser. So, but. <sighs> I felt like Peach did fine. Just got hit three times. That's all. Okay, now, now that uh, what I'm really excited to see in this next stage is the ledge guarding for Bowser, or yeah. the ledge trapping rather. Yeah. How do we because even get on this stage? He's not going to be side being again. I don't think so. He basically lost that match because he side beat and you know Bowser got the the Bowser slam for it. So now that he's probably not going to be going for that, how is uh, Rafa actually going to be keeping him on the ledge? Oh, that's a Saturn. Oh, he's got it. Oh, you could have punished that. I'll be out of shield. Come on. I don't know about that, actually. Don't forget, Downer has zero lag. Don't shield. Can't shield now. Bam! <laughs> that noise is so... <laughs> throw it up. Throw it up. Throw it up. No? Okay. Dance on him. <laughs> that fair is so good. Oh, nice Oh, carry. that's big! No! no! Wait, <laughs> why? Wait, can, can he hold down and go through? Is that a thing? I don't know, man. I don't play Bowser. Okay, Dan. Okay, we can that was around. Fantastic. Mary Poppins on him. Just kill him. What? Yes, no invincibility. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> All right, now this is this is this is borderline silly. Okay. I think this is player four's real mind game. This Yo, is how he's him. getting ready for this game three. He wants the background so bad, but just fire is just perfect. Side B again? Don't you dare do it. Okay, he knows better. Yeah, I feel like that's the thing. Like now that he doesn't have side B to get back on, he's like, uh, up B? Yeah, he's trying to get that fair. Whoa, oh, armor! Geez. He tough guy through it. He tough guy through the first hit of dash attack. I didn't even know he could do that. That boy arm made. That boy arm like an airplane made out of biceps. Let's I go. Love. Did you see that recovery? Yeah, man, that Mike was Mike was spacing sweet. around the turnip. Uh, he's trying to trick him into a fair, but gets it finally. All right, but now this is an even-ish game, but like. Oh, I could have fared him for that. Every time Peach floats, she's, she's in danger of getting hit by a Bowser fair. Wow, that back air, good job. Yeah, these raw back airs are working out so well for uh, Rafa. Okay, so it seems like he's just running into stuff now. 82% immediately. More flamethrower. Okay, Ooh. that's cool. One more back air for the deal. <laughs> I, I just Bowser, use flamethrower now. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I just heard uh, that. Yeah, it's it. Oh my god, he's such a percent of the stock. A massive lead by Rafa. 16%. Player 4 has to, like, what does he have to do in order to win this now? He needs know. to play immaculately or possibly get, like, a really early rage stock or edge guard. He keeps on wanting to float right next to Bowser and not have anything set up yet. If you're going to do down air, for example, you got to remember the hitbox isn't in front of her. That was so good. Getting the spot dodge, recognizing, I think that was a tomahawk grab that Ooh. he tried to go for. That was very slick by Rafa. Didn't get it, though. And looks like, looks like Player 4 is a little scared right now. He doesn't know what to go for. He could die right now. I, I, could I could imagine the fear is real. Play oh, wow. That's a great way to cover your, re um, your um, recovery to the stage. Okay. Player four starting to represent fair a lot more. It's kind of obvious, and Ralph is looking for it a little bit. More uh oh. Jumps over it. Oh, dash attack. Doesn't kill, but he's got to land. What are you going to do? 
Very Ooh. smart. And the late end of the dash attack, keeping him alive, and the Very up smash good. taking him out. Yeah, Rafa man. actually manages to beat Player 4. I would call that an upset. Yeah, the, the, the problem with what Player 4 was doing was that every time he was put in disadvantage or knocked away, he would always recover by floating immediately. That's just going to put you in, in, into another situation where you're going to get smacked out of the air again. He should have landed, reset neutral, maybe gotten the turn up, and then start his game and slowly push Bowser towards the corner. But he